All right, here we are back in one login, and this is where we left off on the SSO tab. Before we leave this tab, I want to allow assumed users to sign into this application. Now, this is a setting that only the account owner can enable, and it allows super users or users that have the privilege to assume users to also assume the user and then sign into an application. And this should be done just for testing, and that's what I'm gonna do. As soon as I'm done testing, I'll disable this feature and select save. So I'm going to click on save now in the upper right hand corner. And now I'm gonna head on over to the access tab, and now I'm going to assign this application to a test role. A lot of the time what I'll do is I'll assign this application to a test role, which has a test user assigned to it. Now because I already have Suzy in Salesforce, I'm going to test with Suzy in this case, but I could also create test user, make sure that the emails match, and then test signing in with test user. In any case, you'll need to make sure that it works for your users. So I'm gonna click on save. So now Suzy should have this role assigned. So I'm gonna just double check that and go to users, and then I'm going to go to all users. I'm gonna take a look at Suzy. So Suzy already has the test role assigned, and I'm gonna select this user. And if we go to the applications, tab, we'll see test role and Salesforce is assigned. So I'm going to leave this assigned to Suzy and I'm going to assume this user and I'm going to test signing into Salesforce. So I typically just type in testing. So I'm going to click on assume. And as you can see, we're now logged in as Suzy. So click on Salesforce. And we have successfully logged in as Suzy Yamao, and we have successfully set up single sign-on for Salesforce. So at this point, what I'll do is I will log out, and this redirects me back to Salesforce. Now remember, one of the things that we could have done was set up a logout URL, which could have redirected us back to one login. All right, here we are back in one login. I'm going to head up to Suzy and revert to admin. And now I'm going to go to apps and then company apps. We're going to head down and select Salesforce. And I'm going to pretty much shut off my testing by going to the SSO tab and unchecking the allow assumed users to sign into this app. That's the first part. And the second part is going to the access tab and taking this application out of the test role. At this point, you could assign this application to another role, really whatever makes sense for your organization. I'll select save. At this point, I want to thank you for watching. Let us know how you liked the video on our YouTube channel. If you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our awesome support team by going to support.onelogin.com. In addition, continue to check out our Help Center for up-to-date information on new features and all you need to know to use OneLogin.